What's up everyone? Welcome to Ashley Talks Movies. Today's video is a review of The Fall Guy. The movie is inspired by the 1980s series of the same name and is directed by David Leach, a real stuntman turned director whose work includes Bullet Train, Deadpool 2, and Atomic Blonde. Ryan Gosling stars as Colt Seavers, a stunt guy who takes a break from the business after suffering a terrible injury on set. He's then called back into action to work on a new movie directed by Jody Marino, played by Emily Blunt, who he previously had a brief relationship with, which makes things a little complicated. And it gets even more complicated when Colt finds out the star of the movie has gone missing and it's up to Colt to find him. Before I jump into the review, a quick plug, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all the videos I post here on the channel. Also make sure you jump into the comments to share your thoughts about the movie. So I wanna kick this review off by saying, The Fall Guy is a blast. This is an action comedy that's packed with some really amazing stunts. And as I mentioned, the director, David Leach, was a stuntman. And it's apparent not only that he knows his craft, but he also really wanted this movie to be a love letter to the stunt community, to stunts and stunt performers who often go unrecognized for the work that they do. So many of the stunts are over the top, but they're done with purpose. There are people jumping from moving cars. There are people hanging from helicopters. There's people jumping from buildings. And all of it is so that you can focus and marvel on the action that is unfolding on screen. So in addition to the stunts, the other highlights of this movie are the two leads, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, who are both just so charming. These are two actors who are great at comedy, both have wonderful comedic timing, but they're also good at physical comedy, and the movie knows just how to use them in those specific moments, and they often provide some of the funniest moments of the movie. What's also great about the two of them is the amazing chemistry that they have. The Fall Guy is mostly being marketed as an action comedy, which it is, but it really, it's more of a romantic comedy with a lot of action in it, and the romance in the movie is the best and most satisfying part of the story. And without it, I really don't think the movie would have worked. The part of the plot that has Colt looking for the star of the movie, Tom Ryder, is often a little convoluted and it, in many ways, causes the movie to lose some of its momentum. But every time Gosling and Blunt are on screen together, whether they're bickering or bantering, it's just magic. The Fall Guy is also a great movie for people who love the filmmaking process. If you're like me and you like watching behind the scenes featurettes to see how a stunt or a scene is created, so many times this movie makes you feel like you're on an actual working set. The characters will have conversations where they're trying to rework a script or you'll see sort of behind the scenes look of how they're creating a stunt for the movie that they are creating within the movie. Sometimes the movie will cut from the scenes in the movie to scenes of the movie that they are filming. And again, it's all to make you feel like uh, you're on a set to see the process of how movies are made. This movie also has plenty of references to other movies and some Easter eggs here and there. And I don't think it's ever too much because it feels like, you know, it's done with purpose. And there's also a character that will share movie quotes, which was also very fun. So again, a lot of this movie is about, you know, really showcasing the amazing work that goes into making a movie and making you, the audience, feel like you're a part of that process. The Fall Guy, I honestly think, is a great movie to kick off the summer movie season. You know, it's got amazing stunts. It has a nice dose of comedy and knows how to use the comedy and the jokes and the physical comedy in the movie. And I think, you know, it has these two charismatic leads that really carry the whole thing. And I really think it's gonna be a crowd pleaser. So those are my thoughts on The Fall Guy. Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to see more content like this.